The nation's roadside maintenance project is aimed at bringing a sense of civic pride to respective communities and also to beautify the country for locals and tourists. The information minister told reporters at a post-cabinet briefing on Friday the project is aimed at fulfilling another objective. When the Gaston Brown administration took office, um, unemployment in the country um, was as high as about 25% and high in some instances affecting significant um, pockets of individuals. And so the notion behind this project, uh, why we concentrated on um, manual involvement. It was to uh, assist in, the, uh, in relieving some of the employment stresses in the country, and it did just that. However, some have suggested Antigua and Barbuda Labour Party supporters have been given preference in the hiring process. Minister Nicholas staunchly rejected this notion. When we became the government in June of 2014, we became a government for Antigua and Barbuda. And I am not aware that any of our hiring practices at this level or at any level um, that that criticism could be sustained against the government. So I reject the notion altogether. The minister also explained why the project is being implemented in a labor-intensive manner. It was a built-in objective for the program that we wanted to focus on creating and generating employment. Um, yes, we could have gone with mechanization, but that would have still left the problem of unemployment. And um, people might say it is inefficient, but we realize it has a very high human component.